Good day, everyone. You're watching Macro Enterprises. Today's lesson is going to focus on access control system. So we are going to understand how the system functions. And then also to understand as well the different I.O. devices or the input and output devices, as well as the controller, and to know exactly how to commission a system. So for the purpose of this lesson, we are going to focus on building so we understand how to place the different components or the different input and output devices in our building so that we get a satisfactory result when it comes to the functionality. Like I said, today's lesson is going to be on access control system. We we'll drive straight to the definition. Access control system is a security system which regulates or which regulates who to enter a particular location through a door or who to use a particular item like mobile phone or computers. It controls the access of persons in a particular area by the use of some input output devices or the IO devices and a controller called the access control panel. So um, my access control system like we initially mentioned like i did already mentioned that we are going to focus on building so how to install the different components so that we have a perfect functionality as far as the access control system in a building is concerned so we are going to look at the different input and output devices and then we're going to look at the access control panel which is a brain where all the decision is being made so we'll now march straight to the input devices. So the input devices are devices that send signal to the access control panel or to the access control brain. The first on our left is a fingerprint or card reader. This is an input device as well, which we'll have to put in our fingerprints or probably using a card to it. So the card or probably the fingerprint we are going to log in and then it's going to be programmed to the access control panel so that in case when we get into that building or to that particular location, just placing our thumbprint or our fingerprint, it's going to send a signal to the access control panel to initiate the door opening as well as the card as well. So the cards are going to be programmed, which is going to be hand over to the user or to the occupant. So I, I give an example of a hotel. So when you get to a hotel, so after booking for a particular room, they're going to give you a card, which that card you're going to use to open that particular door. It will gain, you'll be able to gain access to that particular room which you booked. So you get to that room, you put in the card and then it activates, send, um, send a signal to the access control panel in order to open up the doors. The next on our right now is going to be key parts. So the key part as well is going to be some kind of putting in passwords and all that. So the password is going to be determined based on what have been programmed to the access control panel. So we have also emergency door release. So this emergency door release button is going to be used strictly on emergency condition that is in the case of fire condition since we have fire alarm system which is going to be interfacing or interconnecting with the access control system so during the case of fire it's when you press this push button it's going to send a signal now to the access control panel which will send a signal in order to open that door or that particular door which you've initiated the door release the next slide is going to be on output devices. So the output devices are the devices which will give or pave a way for the doors to open. We have the first on our left, which is uh, the door contacts. And then on our right, we have magnetic door release. So we'll move now to this graphic, which gives a demonstration on how the access control system functions. So an action on input such as the card reader, fingerprints, brick glass, et cetera, or via the fire alarm system. So we have our comparison device, which is here at this point. So from the comparison, now we have our controller, which is the access control panel. So once we send a signal 
which is in, for the input devices, which we talked of, the card reader, fingerprint, or the break glass. Once that is initiated, it moves now to the controller. So a signal is being sent now to the controller. So from the, from the controller now, it's going to send a signal as well now to the actuator, which will, which in this case now we call it the magnetic door release. As we saw here, this is a magnetic door release. So it will send a signal to the controller, which in turn the controller now will pass a judgment and then notify now the actuator to release the door contacts. So when the door contacts have been released, it now moves now to the process which we have, the door will be open. And then also we have a feedback over here, which is the door contact or the sensing contact, which will send a sig signal, either the door is open or the door is closed for another action to be taken. We have here our panel, as you can see. It has different cables, which we have input devices and output devices. And then as you can see here, we have this FP200 cables, which is an interface from the fire alarm system that comes to interconnect with the access control system. So this is a system, as you can see here now, this is a push button. Okay, this, that's the door. So we open the door and then this is the card reader. We move now over here from the outside. Now we have the door contact. In this case now it's a retractable tile where it extends and then it retracts. As you can see, this little piston here, it extends and retracts based on the signal that have been initiated to the access control panel. And then this is a sensing contact now, which we now have to notify or send a signal to the access control panel to indicate that the door is open or it is closed. As we keep moving, you get to understand the function of this uh, sensing contact. But I did explain that already on our graphic, which is a feedback. So we'll now move now to the outside. From the outside part now, okay, as you can see here now, the door contact has been released. So it retracts back again once the system is reset. The door now closes and then it goes back down, extends and closes, closes the door. The door now cannot open. So an action now on the, um, the exit button, press to exit. So when you press this now, it sends a signal now to the access control panel to release. It will release the door contacts that will enable the door to be open. And then this is the emergency break glass. In the case of fire condition, now we can press in order to release the door. I will not take us now to the access control panel. As you can see here, this is an access control panel so I'll open right in so we get to see how the cables have been installed. So top, we have um, the input devices as well. We have the output devices, as you can see. And then the third party cable, which I showed you, which is living from the fire alarm system. As you can see up here, we have these two modules interfacing with the access control system. And then we have battery over here, which is for backup for a period of time based on the project specification as well. So I'll close the panel now. So basically that is how the system function. So we get to understand the functionality of it. And then like I did mention here as well, um, when commission, I commissioned a system whereby we had our, from this point, let me take it a little bit back so we get to understand it. So when, if you look at the door release here, we have this piston. So previously when we did the, the programming already done, and then we are now commissioning the system. So we notice that when you press the push button from outside, the doors are going to be released. And then after a while, once the door is open and is still open, the, the piston, as you can see here, it retracts back again after a predetermined time, which is not supposed to be that way. The door supposed to, is supposed to be closed 
So when the door is closing, that is when the door contact now releases and then closes the door. So in that case, now we had to re-modify everything now and then bringing in a sensing contact which act as a feedback to indicate that the door is still open. So if the this contact, like I did, I showed us already, as you can see here, or take us now to the, okay, as you can see here, this is the door contact. So one is going to be connected to the frame, have this other part which is connected on the door. So it, act, it now sends a signal now to the fire, to the access control panel to sense that the door have been closed in order to release the contact which I showed you now. This piston now is going to be released in order to close the door. Basically, that is how the system functions. In a case whereby we have um, the magnetic type, like I showed us already, in the case that we have this magnetic door contact, it, it is not really necessary when we start putting in the sensing contact. In this case, it will just function as such. But for the case where we have the piston that is either releasing or retracting, in this case now we require a sensing contact that will notify the door or that will notify the access control panel that the door is still open. So once it closes, it sees it, and then it sends a signal now to the access control panel in order to initiate an action in order for this uh, the door contacts now to be released to close the door. Basically, this is how the system functions. And also, um, you get to understand exactly what are the different I.O. devices and how the system should function based on that you program the system and then commission it based on how the system is supposed to function. Until then, you're watching Mapoge Enterprises.